Bobcat. <laughs> yeah, so a couple weeks ago, I was at a friend's house working on my projector, and I lost track of time and I went outside and found that Zaya was long gone. She pulled loose her retractable leash and took off. I left the back window of the truck open so she could get out in the back of the truck if she wanted to, but she got her retractable leash free and took off. Found her like between a quarter of a mile and half a mile away from their house before she finally got her retractable leash wrapped around things. So then I decided that I needed something, some way of tracking her. And I found this thing locally, which is obviously not the most accurate, probably. It's a radio-controlled pet finder, pet tracker. But still better than some of the options out there where most of the cheaper options require a monthly subscription and to be within cell service. This is nice because it'll actually work way up in the mountains. At least, kind of work. <laughs> and it's not a really big device either. A better way to go would have been to spend several hundred dollars on a hunting dog tracking GPS unit. I think they might be a little bit on the bulky side, plus they're really expensive. This thing price is pretty expensive too, brand new. I bought it used. Hopefully, if I have any more accidents, Zai disappearing, I'll be able to track her, hopefully. Huh. Hopefully. Theoretically, right?